Hi everyone, uh, this is Albie from Albie's Kike Stuff Australia. Um, I sort of said that I'd put up a a, um, a bit of a, a topic uh, for discussion on how to install a sounder onto your uh, Kike's The Fish 11.5. This is the 11.5 um, which I really like. It's my first kayak. Been a great kayak so far. I've only had it a few months, but I've had it out in all sorts of water and um, decent swells and stuff like that, and it's been really, really stable. Um, but uh, one of the topics that came up when I got the kayak, I was struggling, really struggling to figure out how to cable up and how to wire my sounder. Um, so I went for the Garmin 7 SV, the side view one, 7 inch. Uh, which is a really nice um, sounder for this size kayak, I think. Perfect for me. I've got shitty eyes and I can see everything I need to do. And uh, so far, so good. It's been really good. Um, but as far as uh, cabling it, I did encounter a few little issues. So I'll just take you through those. Um, the first is the transducer area, um, which the transducer plate is here this is it all here and it's directly behind your drive there's the drive um, sitting under the kayak here now having the transducer here is great however when you're paddling uh, like as in with the drive one of the things I do notice on the sounder is that I get the blips uh, which is the transducer picking up the movement of the pedal drive and it's just something to be aware of. But my transducer sits in there. Uh, it is protected. You can see it's sort of up a little bit. Uh, I haven't had any issues with signal. It's been really good. Um, and inside this area, uh, when you've got this down, it's only got four screws to hold it in and I've just used cable ties to hold the transducer. But you'll find that there is a scupper hole up inside this which was designed so that you can put your cabling from your transducer, and there is a lot of it, uh, up into your hull, okay? So I'll show you where that comes out, um, that uh, scupper hole. So if we come up here now, this is the scupper hole, and it's right in the middle of the kayak, and it's just behind your pedal drive. Um, and if you're using this tray, um, it comes right up to it. So I could see that I was going to have an issue with uh, my cables if I just came up through the scup hole and ran them across here or ran them down this way or whatever uh, for my power. So this is what I've come up with so far, I'll show you. So just going back to where my battery sits, this is my battery box, um, which I'm still yet to fix in, but I'm going to do it with Velcro now, I've decided. Uh, battery sits beautiful in there. This here... Uh, is my power lead um, which I had to splice in but it just gives me plenty of lead um, and goes direct to my battery I've actually then fed this cabling up through the hull of the kayak um, which you can I, I actually was able to stick my head into this hole with a light and see where I was going uh, I then brought the basically the power lead up so here's the this is your transducer cable and my power cables came out here so i drilled this hole and i've drilled that hole this one here this was a bit of a worry but i had a really good look and checked everything out before i did um and i've put in uh i then used a coat hanger wire to actually get the cable from where i wanted here all the way through and up to this hole here and that comes out there. So I've got the power lead comes out here, the transducer cable, that's it there. Um, and this other cable uh, I spliced in uh, and I've got a waterproof sort of fitting on that in the hull. So it's nice and neat, but what I like with this is that um, I used the scupper hole cover and what I did, um, just shown on this one, I just drilled out a hole in this fed the cables through it and then I filled this whole area is filled up with uh, Sikaflex in black which is a waterproof and it binds to waterproof stuff as well and that's what that there is that's full of Sikaflex this uh, protector cover comes out 
and that's just typically that split conduit sort of style cover. I filled that with Sikaflex as well, so that's waterproof. And I've got Sikaflex in behind this as well. Um, so there's no way water's going to get through that and damage anything, which is really good. Um, this here, all I did here was I've used just a conduit with a couple of stainless tech screws in there with Sikaflex behind them, so they're waterproof. And when I'm finished with the kayak, uh, with the sounder, um, like when, I, when I'm traveling or transporting it, I just unplug these. And one of the things I did notice when you buy these, these little covers here, these rubber covers that are meant for each plug, they just sort of willy nilly uh, come off. So just a bit of advice on that, if I were you, I would just tape, tape them onto each cable piece so that you never lose these. Because once you lose them, you're gonna end up with corrosion in these um, or water um, and you just don't want that. But um, I did use uh, this ram mount for mine, and that goes into the rails. But again, you can see it's a little bit wobbly, but I am tempted to get a rail blazer and mount it hard on to the hull here. But at the moment it works there, and I can adjust it. It doesn't get in the way of my pedals, which is something I was worried about. And um, yeah, it works for me. And I do, I just stick this into a stubby holder. I just stick these leads, fold them over once they've got the covers on, stick them into a stubby holder and they just sit there and the garment goes in the car. You know what thieves are like nowadays, so you can't, uh, can't leave anything on them. But that's pretty well it. Um, hopefully you like that. And uh, at least that way I think, just in closing, this lead is really well protected and it's not like a lot of the uh, demonstrations that you'll see where the cable goes down in these channels. These are water channels and they're up directly under stuff, they're under your feet, and this is where your feet are sitting a lot of the time. And you just don't want the cable sitting there, so mine's really well protected and uh, works well. So thanks for watching, and uh, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Thanks very much.